Okay, I'm going to give you one more video. I, I, I just want to get some points, you know, through and everything. And, and, and I mean, uh, there may be some of you may not even watch this last video, but, uh, but I think it's going to be worth your time. Look, you need to get right with God. Because the best laid plans are going to mean nothing, you know, if and everything. But but I, I, I honestly believe, you know, that just, you know, you're going to want to survive. You're going to want to protect your family. You know, you're going to want, because if you're sitting in, in prison, prison sucks. I mean, you know, and, and yeah, I've been there, you know. I, I was in there because I gave illegal aliens something to eat, you know. I'm a real heinous individual and everything like that, and they gave me 15 months for feeding illegal aliens. But, you know, even though the people said, we don't know this man, but it don't make no difference. It, it, it really don't. It's all ancient history and everything like that, you know. But, but look, if you can't own guns, get a bow and arrow. Practice. Get your hay bale. Stick it out in your backyard and practice with a bow and arrow. You know, you're going to want to, you're going to want to get, figure out how to, how to, how to make jerky with your meat. You're going to want to figure out what you can do, you know, to, to provide the best life that you can for your family. You know, I just, <clears throat> you know, it's going to be rough. You know, I mean, you know, Mexico, they're not going to want you taking no guns down there to Mexico. But, you know, bows and arrows, they don't really have much of a problem with that. You know, I mean, you know, you just declare it when you go in there. You know, and if you have a dune buggy, or a motorcycle, and that motorcycle will work afterwards, after this something like this happens and everything, take it, I mean, because you may need it. You know, it's just one of them things, and what I'm trying to tell you is, you know, that, that uh, you know, you're, you're going to want to look for the very best situation for your family. You're going to want to, you know, you know, you're going to probably want to get some dish detergent, you know, and that's just so that you can wash your dishes and stuff like that. And and you're gonna want to you're gonna want a good first aid kit, you know. And God forbid you have to use it, but I mean every one of your vehicles should have a first aid kit in it. And if you got kids, well you're gonna want some band aids, you know. And I would get a, several boxes of band aids, and I'd make sure that that them band aids were, you know, were were. Uh, what is the matter with the lights on this thing, man? This thing is going nuts. Let me see if I can adjust it a little bit. You're gonna want some band aids for your kids. And, and that's important because, you know, kids are going to get scrapes and cuts and bruises and stuff. And, 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 and you know, and, you know, and it's, you know, it's going to be tough. And, I mean, even if it happens in the summertime, I mean, you know, I'll tell you, you know, you need to have, you need to think about this. Whether it happens in the summertime or the wintertime, it's, you're going to need clothing because it's going to, summer's going to pass and the winter's going to set in. But I mean, you know, you're gonna want you're gonna want to make the very best thing that you can for a bed. You know, you're gonna want to buy go down there to Harbor Freight. You know, and I I hate I hate the idea of you know, well, I'm just gonna tell you, you know, get you some tarps, tarps and rope and stuff like that, because you can store a tarp that's all folded up behind the seat of your pickup truck. You know, bundle a rope. You know, throw that in there. Some tent stakes and and different things you know you're going to want to have the equipment set up so that you when you decide that you're going to go ahead and uh, and do this that that you have enough stuff to you know to make life comfortable on you and I think that that's important and I hope that that this information that I'm giving to you and everything is is uh, is going to be going to be beneficial for you I, I, I want life to be easy for you you know to the you know the very best of your ability I mean you know I want I want it to be good for you, you know, and and you know you need to pray. You need to pray fervently and ask God, you know, for direction, and that's very important. I mean, because I mean, you know, I'm just going to tell you, man. What if God sends an angel in your house and wakes you up in the middle of the night and says, "Get in your car and get out of town," and I mean, get out of town right now, and everything. I mean. You need to have it in your mind that you're going to have to cut your losses, and you're going to have to just think about that that your house is compromised, your lifestyle is compromised, and you need to go. You need to get down the road, motors. <clears throat> and when you do, you know, 
you need to go ahead and 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 just think that you know that you're never coming back to that house there's nothing going to there's not going to be anything there for you when you get back you know take some coloring books and crayons and stuff like that for your kids i think that'd be good for them because they're going to want something to do you know you're going to want to entertain them you're going to want to do something you know to get you know to keep them occupied and, and keep them thinking about other things and, and that's important and uh, well I just want I your 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 plans are your plans and 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 I'm just trying to give you an advice about some stuff and everything you know but but you know just uh, just do your your best and 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 work through your plan work through your plans until it's fail safe you know and and if you ain't if if you don't have a vehicle that's that's diesel vehicle or you can't buy one or you you know and everything go down to AutoZone and buy yourself a uh, kill switch and you put it on your on your battery there on your car on your positive side of your car and everything and you just you know manual kill switch and you just shut that thing off at night and basically you know you're gonna have to reprogram your radio every so often you know who cares I mean you know but but uh, radio ain't gonna work anyway after it's all said and done but but the thing about it is if you kill the electricity to your electronic system in your car it might survive I'm not guaranteeing it. I'm just saying it might you know but if that be the situation and if that helps you you know a ten dollar twenty dollar kill switch on on for your battery cable and everything is going to be money well spent you know if you can buy ammunition if you want to buy guns and ammunition and everything think about you know how much ammunition how, how much is it going to weigh what's it going to you know different things and once you get to the point that that I mean where you're going to go in your vehicle or whatever you need to think about this that vehicle when you walk away from that vehicle chances are you're not going to come back to a working vehicle when it's when it's said and done somebody else will come along and steal that vehicle or they'll steal your fuel out of it they'll steal whatever you know and battery or whatever they think their battery will go dead you know so they're they're probably going to steal the battery out of it you know you know chances are you're not going to want to be around a vehicle anyway you're going to learn you know that you're going to be packing and everything and I would I would suggest that if you're going to buy tarps buy dark green tarps or you know sand colored tarps or whatever and then you know make your own tarps get get some tarps and then and then spray them down with scotch guard like if you get canvas tarps or, or drop cloths spray them down heavily with scotch guard and then on one side of it you know they got these canvas tarps there at Harbor Freight and they're, and they're just heavy gauge duct and everything on one side of it spray paint it <coughs> green and if the other and if you're going to be in and if it's you know whatever the terrain style is going to be like spray paint one side green and the other side leave it beige colored you know if you're going to be in the desert I don't know whatever it is you know whatever works out the best if you're going to use you know plastic tarps get the green ones camouflage you're going to want what I'm trying to say is you're going to want to be able to hide from satellites over overhead they're going to try and track your location and different things not that you're doing anything wrong but they're going to come after you you know you need to think about it this stuff is going to come to pass they're coming for you they're you know and, and it you know you can you can judge me and, and, and call me a kook all you want but the thing about it is you know all your best laid plans if you're not right with God they can be for nothing you know you know you may you may not even make it out of town you know and and <clears throat> but uh, but I'm just trying to tell you you know that, that that little bit of preparation and stuff and and having this stuff in your mind and everything is good to go and I mean and even for the Patriot if you're wanting to get out of town and then you're wanting to turn back around and 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 fight you know to you know reestablish yourself and to, and to, you know and everything I think that's a futile deal. I think that you know that, that you know you're going to want to you're going to want to keep them as far back off of your tail end as you can, you know. But get maps, you know. Buy your maps now. Buy them ahead of time. Go to the mountains. Go to the the Forest Service. Go to the BLM. Get maps from these people that, that and everything. And it'll show watering holes. It'll show windmills. It'll show all kinds of stuff. And those are going to be things that you're going to want to look for as a windmill. 
you know, and, and you're going to want to be able to go over there and get some water. You know, you're going to, you're going to want to want to boil your water before you drink it. Hey.